While the federal government works to come up with a reform plan for the nation's 11 million undocumented immigrants, a newly formed local group called San Diegans United for Common Sense Immigration Reform have their own plans. Here to talk more about it are my guests, former assemblyman and chair of the new group, Nathan Fletcher and Norma Chavez Peterson, associate director of San Diego's ACLU. Thank you both for being here. For Nathan, me. let's start with you. Who were some of the key players here uh, in the group that were at this press conference earlier today? You know, we, we had this amazing and broad coalition. It included people from the leaders from the business community, people like Paul and Erwin Jacobs, uh, also those representing organizations, Dwayne Roth from Connect and Joe Panetta from Biocom and other CEOs. Uh, we had law enforcement leaders. Uh, Sheriff Bill Gore was the head of our law enforcement coalition, but also signing on were Chief Lansdowne, District Attorney Bonnie Dumanis, Chief David Bejarano, and others. Uh, we had labor leaders. The, the CEO of the San Diego and Imperial County Labor Council, Lorena Gonzalez, was there, along with a number of her individual leaders from, from her labor unions. Uh, we had civil liberties groups were there, and Norma and the ACLU, and then faith groups. We had, we had pastors and bishops. Uh, and rabbis, leaders from across denominations and across spectrums that all came together. So a very diverse group with very different interests. Right. What about this decisive issue is uniting them and making them a part of this group? Well, I think every member of this coalition uh, cares about immigration for different reasons. Everyone wants it solved in its entirety. But for example, for, for Qualcomm, it's a, it's a question of growing the San Diego economy and having a visa system that allows us to get the skilled workers in to fill the jobs that are needed. Uh, the sheriff talked about the need for, for public safety and people to feel safe. Uh, you can't have people that are afraid to report, report crimes or afraid if they've been a victim. Uh, labor talked about the importance we need to not have an underclass, to make sure that all workers have basic protections. They're treated with dignity and respect. Of course, civil liberties groups are focused on the, those basic human rights that are embedded in the Constitution. And then faith groups talked about it from their perspective. And so all of us came together and said it has to be solved. And if we all across the spectrum can agree to a core set of principles very specific uh, that our leaders in Washington should be as well. And I want to come back to those uh, principles, but first I do want to ask Norma, um, do you see that this immigration reform here in San Diego, what would you like to see come out of it? Well, I think what, what I what what I want to see come out of our effort is that, number one, the work has to happen in Washington, D.C. But I think here locally, with this historic moment with these diverse stakeholders coming together, is we want this to unite the San Diego community around these shared principles. And we want to make sure that our representatives to Congress take that message back to D.C. and get to work on really addressing this complex issue. But if we can figure it out, if we can come to some common ground, They've got to find some right, and I love the common sense uh, part in the title <laughs> there. Norma, do you think that uh, an overhaul in Washington uh, D.C. in the uh, immigration reform is likely, and do you think that will impact us here in San Diego? I think the stars are aligned, and I mean, mm -hmm. look, we've identified a pope today, so I'm hopeful <laughs> that our country can move forward. I think this is an issue that's been long overdue. To, to be addressed, and I, I, there's a lot of conversations, a lot of movement in Washington, D.C. There's a Senate plan, there's a House plan, there's a White House plan. Something has to happen this year, and I believe it can happen. And Nathan, you guys are trying to help that happen in this group. You were right. talking about the four principles. What are the four principles? So the, the four principles that we came to agreement on, and they're at sdcommonsense.org, uh, but the first is a pathway to citizenship. Uh, we've got to bring the 11 million Americans out of the shadows. Uh, and create a system. The second one is a, is a reform of, of, of the visa uh, and immigration system to allow for high skilled and lesser skilled workers to, uh, to match in a market basis and the needs of the economy while also ensuring that we have protections for workers so that their wages and their hours and their working conditions are, uh, are protected and they're not exploited. Uh, the third focuses on ensuring that, that we have smart border security, uh, making sure that that border is open for commerce and for cultural exchange. Uh, and making sure that communities feel safe. And then the fourth is really ensuring that everything that happens really encapsulates and, and includes those basic human rights, those civil liberties that are a part of the Bill of Rights in the U.S. Constitution. And, you know, we joke today that you probably couldn't get our coalition uh, to agree on much. Uh, we might agree on what day of the week it is, but it would take us a little while. But we all came together and we agreed. We stepped out of our comfort zone and we agreed on these core principles. Uh, and that's what gives me hope. I believe it can be done this year. Well, we are out of time, but we do. I want to follow up uh, later on the core principles and how that actually uh, trickles down to some action going on and getting these immigration bills passed. Great. Happy to come back. All right, Nathan Fletcher and Norma Chavez-Peterson, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you for thank having you. us.